All right, what's going on guys? Tread back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video predictions video for the fourth season finale of The Walking Dead, season four, episode 16, which is simply called A. Okay, so I know it's a bit early to kind of put out a video predictions video for the finale of the season, but it's a big event. It should be uh, quite something as we as we get closer to it. And we're only two episodes out from the season finale, which is kind of crazy because it seems like we just started to see the second half of The Walking Dead season four, and you know now we're almost uh, you know at the end of it. But definitely wanted to get my thoughts out there right now as it stands and kind of do some predictions on what I think is going to happen for the season finale. So it's called A, and the episode before it, episode 15, is called U.S. or Us. So when you put those together, some people have predicted U.S.A. could mean that at the end of the season they're going to head towards uh, Washington, D.C., possibly. I mean, I, I really don't know because... We only have three left, and where the characters are right now, it's pretty hard to imagine that they'd be able to kind of resolve everything that's been going on with them in this half, and then, you know, head towards Washington, D.C. together, since the groups have not even already recombined at this, at this time, which is really strange to see, because you would have thought that they would have already probably, you know, uh, come back together by now, but they, they haven't. We've had individual episodes focusing on certain groups, and they've done a lot of uh, round robin for us to see kind of where each one's at, and really kind of slowed down the pace for a good portion of it so that we could really um, get to spend some, some quality time in the episodes with certain characters before them coming back together. So, all we have to, to base this one on right now is the description for A, and it's, uh, it's March 30th, it should be airing. It says, many paths collide, Rick faces sheer brutality. The group struggles to survive. So the only thing I can really, I mean, w with regards to this, right off the bat, the many paths collide thing, that's kind of self-explanatory. It sounds like we're gonna get to see all the groups uh, finally meet up, or at least most of them. Uh, Daryl and Beth is the one group that I kind of think is going to be, I don't know, by the end that will be probably, they will meet back up with Rick's group. I'd be surprised if Daryl didn't, if he was kind of, you know, off somewhere else, and then you had uh, Rick's group that all recombined without him. That'd be a little strange. So <laughs> I'm thinking the group that Daryl's with now, the Joe Joe's group or whatever that he's going to have to join, won't have much of a choice. We'll probably have something to do with the Beth situation, probably have something to do with the Sanctuary, and we'll kind of see it all sort of come together by the end of the season and all be resolved, probably resulting in the death of all of um, Joe's group, including himself, probably. I mean, that too is kind of strange because that would mean that this new group of characters would only be in the show for three episodes, which is kind of a small amount when you consider how long the Governor's group, even though it was a bigger group and everything, was in the series four, especially at the pacing, kind of seems like they could get some more time out of those new villains that were that are being introduced right now. Um, but based on this, many paths collide. So we're thinking Glenn's group with Abraham, Rosita, Eugene, and um, Tara is going to meet up with with Rick, Carl, uh, Michonne. Of course, she'll have uh, Bob's group in there, and then uh, am I forgetting anybody? Tyrese's group. So I would think we're going to be seeing all those groups sort of meet up again in the finale. <clears throat> then, with the Rick faces sheer brutality, the group struggles to survive. I would think the, the word brutality is kind of um, like referring to this new uh, Joe's group along with uh, the Gabriel character and however he's interpreted in the uh, TV series if he's a combination of... Uh, Chris and the comic book series Gabriel they're calling him Gareth I think is Andrew J. West character if that's who he is um, probably sounds like it but I guess we'll find out and him combined with the uh, Joe's group is probably going to be our uh, antagonist for this last little bit and then of course um, the group struggles to survive I mean self-explanatory so I'm thinking probably the finale is going to be based around Beth for the most part, what's going to happen with Beth? Is she going to survive? Is she going to be killed off? And um, 
the previous episode, episode 15, the uh, U.S. or us, it says uh, survivors rely on brutality and faith. I mean, that's a pretty that's a pretty bland description. I'll put these both in the uh, in the description um, for this video. But yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty uh, general uh, type of statement. Survivors rely on brutality and faith. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know what to say with regards to that one. But I think for the most part, we're going to be seeing all the groups recombine, and then we're going to see the situation with Daryl, Beth, and this uh, these new antagonists uh, at the, the Sanctuary Terminus, which I believe at this point is a is trap. I think now it is a trap. Uh, all resolved. It, it seems like that house that Daryl and Beth went into was like a like a trap type situation and I think the sanctuary also is because you have signs posted everywhere you even have radio you know being broadcast it just seems it seems too convenient to me for it to be legit it just seems to you know it, it just a little bit too good to be true I think Sasha's right on this one um, so we'll find out how it is and we'll see how the season finale ends up uh, being. I mean, I'm not expecting too much compared to some of the other finales we've had because of Too Far Gone and how amazing that was. I mean, it was only a mid-season finale, but it was like the greatest finale of a, of a series I've ever seen. So even though it was just a mid-season break, it was, it, was, it was even better than the season three finale or season two or any of the others, I think. So uh, for this one here, I'm not expecting too much in the way of... Um, you know anything to that extreme i think it'll be it should be super exciting too but i'm just i'm not thinking it's going to be on that same kind of level i'm thinking it's going to be probably not quite as you know big as that uh, as that was but we'll have to see how they handle the hunters and how it all works out i definitely think that those are that's a group of uh, characters that we could get a lot of time out of but I don't know how much they want to concentrate on what they do. With the governor, for example, they showed a side of you know of, of who he is and what made him be uh, like this and, and, and how he became to attack the prison uh, again the second time and everything. And I really like that. But I don't know how much uh, sort of character uh, attention they want to give to these other new characters that are coming up because it's so brutal or they like the word they use, brutality. It's so dark that I don't know how much they want to concentrate on that. They may just want to put them in there, have it be used for the big season finale, and then blow past it and then go on with the series from there. Maybe heading towards Washington with Abraham's group if he's able to talk Rick and the others into it. And if the sanctuary ends up being you know, just nothing, like it's just a trap by the hunters, if they defeat the hunters... They may be liable to just say, okay, let's just go with Abraham and let's just, just head out there. we got nothing else to do. The sanctuary thing was bogus and uh, there's really nothing here now. So let's uh, let's give it a shot. Why not? Let's try it. So anyway, let me know what you guys think is uh, is going to happen for the finale and, and, and how, how big you think it's going to be. Uh, like I said, I, I don't think it'll be quite as big as Too Far Gone was, but I think it should be good at the same time. And we'll probably get at least one or two character deaths out of it. Um, have to do a video talking about whether or not I think Beth's going to survive this whole uh, ordeal. Um, uh, or is she going to end up like that rich bitch one at the golf course, you know, the one that they put, they put on top of the, um, the mannequin legs. If you guys remember, they foreshadowed really well. There was stuff all throughout the season uh, for characters being, you know, missing <laughs> body parts and things like that. Just, just brutal, man. Absolutely brutal. Let me know what you guys think. I'll call it here. That's it for today's video, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. This is Trev. Peace. Thank you.